Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this series of videos, I'm showing you how to mix live drums just with the plugins that are included with Studio One. So last week, you'll remember that we mixed the kick drum. So this week, we're going to move on to the snare drum. So let's have a listen to the track we're going to be working with, with the snare drum unprocessed. And let's solo the snare. So as you can see from this recording, we've got a snare top and we've got a snare bottom. Now because where the mics are placed on a snare drum, they often pick up a lot of other elements of the kit. Let's have another listen. So the first thing we need to do is to gate these snares. So let's open up our effects. And as I said before, we're just gonna be using the plugins that are included with Studio One. So let's load a gate in first of all into the snare top. And let's mute the snare bottom. So already that's cleared up the kick drum. So I'm pretty happy that all I did was just adjust the open threshold control here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is to copy that down to the snare bottom as well. And let's hear that. Now, because that microphone is so much closer to the kick drum, we're gonna to have to adjust this gate even more. So now that's cleared up all the other instruments and we've just got the snares. Okay, let's mute the bottom snare and let's concentrate on the top snare. Let's load in a fat channel. And what I want to do with this is to put the EQ before the compressor, as I want to EQ into the compressor. And let's change that EQ and let's make it the vintage one, which is like a Neve emulation. I want to add some weight to the snare, so let's boost 220. Let's turn the EQ on. And let's add some top as well. Let's do 4.8. And let's shelve it, boost the shelf, just to smooth out the top. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a listen to that with the kit. Let's move on to the compressor. Now for this, let's use the FET compressor, which is like an 1176. Right, first of all, I'm gonna bring back the output as I'm gonna be turning up the input and making it louder. We can leave it a four to one. Let's bring the attack back so it lets the transient through. And let's solo that top. Right, let's move on to the bottom snare and let's copy in that fat channel again. Now this time I'm gonna use the compressor before the EQ. For this, I'm gonna use the tube compressor. Now, this emulates a LA-2A, which is a vintage valve compressor. Now, I've used an LA-2A quite a few times, and this compressor doesn't really react like an LA-2A does, but it still sounds great. It's a lot quicker than an LA-2A. Let's hear that. Okay, let's turn up the peak reduction, and the gain. Let's check we're getting the same input and output level. Boost it a bit more. Okay, let's open the EQ. And again, let's put the vintage on again. Okay, let's boost it 220 for the weight. Let's boost it 3.2 as well. Just for the snap. And let's just uh, boost the high shelf. Let's hear that in the track. Now you might be thinking that snare sounds quite thin, but there's other elements in this track as well. So we've got all this uh, program percussion as well. Let's bring that in. So 
So I still want the snare in there, but I don't want it as prominent because I've still got all these other elements I need to mix in the track. So let's mute those again. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to trigger a snare from my snare top. So I'm gonna open my gate again, and I'm gonna turn my trigger on. And let's change that note to D1, as on a general MIDI kit, normally the snare is on D1. And let's load in Presence XT. And let's choose a kit here. Let's go to Artist Instruments, Drum Kits, and let's use, and let's use Stereo Spread. And let's find the snare that we want. Right, that one will do. So we've set up the gate to trigger D1. And as you can see here, this little note is flashing every time that snare is triggering. So if I go into my Presence track, and I choose In, we go to gate, it's now triggering that note. And let's mix that in the track. So I'm getting all the weight from that snare. And let's hear that in the track. I think it's a really fast way of triggering other instruments from the gate. So I hope you guys got something out of that. I'm Paul from Production Expert, and I'll see you guys next time.